All right, algebra 2, P1, add and subtract functions. Going to be fairly easy today, okay? So we're going to add and subtract functions. We're going to zoom in real quick. And so what this says is f plus g of x, f plus g of x. All it's saying is take this take this and add them together. So 2x squared minus 2, I'm oh, sorry, let me do it a little bit differently, a little bit more politically correct. So f plus g, so we have 2x squared, then we have negative 2x plus 4. Because it's a plus sign, the parentheses really aren't necessary, but whenever it's not a plus sign, the parentheses are necessary. So I went ahead and put them on this problem. So because we're adding, we're going to add like terms. We only have one thing being squared, so it's, it's like term, it's by itself. Then we have another, just an x, so it's by itself. And we have a 4, so it's by itself. So in this problem, there wasn't anything to add because we couldn't add them together. All right, f plus g of x, f plus g of x. So we have negative 3x squared minus 5x is your f, 3x is your g. Again, the plus sign, it wasn't really necessary, so but I had to go ahead and put it in there. And the 5x and the 3x are like terms. But the negative 3x squared is not a like term with the other two. So we put negative 3x squared, and then negative 5x plus 3x is negative 2x. These are not like terms. You cannot put them together, so that is your answer. Now we're going to be doing some subtracting, and subtracting the parentheses are definitely necessary. So we have a minus r of x. So the a goes first. The r goes second. And because of this minus sign, this minus says subtract everything that is behind it. So whenever it says to subtract, it means to change. So the 4x is going to become a negative 4x, and the positive one is going to become a negative 1. Then we have to put our like terms together. 4x minus 4x, it cancels out. So in this problem, our answer is negative 1. F plus... Should I put a plus on there? G. So negative 4x plus 1. 4x plus 2. Again, because we're adding, the parentheses weren't necessary, but I went ahead and put them in there. And so negative 4x and positive 4x cancel out. 1 plus 2 is 3, and so 3 is your answer. F minus G. 3x plus 3, negative 3x, because it's a minus sign, the minus goes to that negative 3. That's 3x plus 3 does not change. That changes to a positive 3x. 3x plus 3x is 6x, and then this one stays by itself. Last one. a minus s, your a is 5x plus 1, your x is your s is 4x plus 6 because of the minus sign. We are going to change those up. And so the 5x and the 1 stay positive. The 4 becomes negative. The 6 becomes negative. Then we add our like term. 5 minus 4 is 1. 6 minus 1 minus 6 is negative 5. So 1x minus 5 or x minus 5. So if we're doing f minus g, here's your f, and there's your minus, and here's your g. So f is going to go here, 
j is going to go there. So 2x plus 4, x squared plus 2x. So we have 2x plus 4. This negative sign is going to go to both of those, which means change the sign. So it'll be negative 1x squared minus 2x. Then we're going to add like terms. Well, there's only 1x squared. So that is going to be by a negative 1x squared. That's going to be by itself. Then we have a 2x and then a minus 2x. And 2 minus 2 is 0. And since that is 0, those are going to cancel out. So you're not going to put that x spot, that x term with it. And then just the plus 4 comes down, and that's going to be the answer for that one. And then if we have f minus g, f is going to go in here. g is going to go in there. This negative is going to change that positive x to a negative x. And then these are the only two terms that are alike. So x squared comes down, and negative x and a negative x is negative 2x. And then the negative 6 comes down. And